Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and today I want to tackle a subject that has been requested of me, uh, and that is multiplayer. With this channel, and with basically every channel that uh, is up on YouTube, it's all solo content, which makes sense because, you know, that's what's easier to make, right? I can just go out, I can make a video on my own, and, you know, life goes on. But uh, in reality, uh, you know, this is a great solo game, but so much of this game is played multiplayer. In fact, the game was originally intended to only be multiplayer, and this whole solo thing was kind of an afterthought. At least that's how I understand the, the history of the game. So there is lots of different things that go on with multiplayer, different layers of interaction. Um, there's obviously the different spirits, good spirit combinations, so on and so forth, but there's also players. You know, you're uh, going to be interacting with the other people, you're on the same team, and so you need to be able to be effective working together. And, you know, you want to hopefully not hate each other throughout this whole process. Uh, so, I want to talk more about the, the player side first. There's really three major ways that you can play Spirit Island. There's the physical game itself, there is Tabletop Simulator, like we see on the screen, and then there's the official app, which I use to make a lot of my old videos. Uh, and each different way that you play uh, creates different styles of communication. There's advantages, there's disadvantages to all of them. So first, physical, you know, with the actual board, bring it out on the table. Um, you know, you, you actually have the game and you have your body language to communicate with your friends. Uh, you have those physical reminder tokens. I use dice for defense. Um, you know, one of my buddies uh, just uses like energy tokens for, um, for that. Uh, there's also, I find just a little bit more chaos that goes on physically because whenever I destroy invaders, I just kind of like push them off the edge of the island and they just start collecting in little piles just outside the edge of the island board. So that can make things a little crazy sometimes, um, you know, when you're trying to play a little quickly. Um, but, <clears throat> but you know, when you're, when you're there physically and in person and, you know, you're spending time with your friends, oftentimes I find that you might even play a little slower because you might joke around a little bit more. Uh, you might take breaks for various reasons, you know, such as food, you know, just like, hey, yeah, we'll finish this turn, let's go get some pizza or whatever, right? Uh, and, you know, sometimes you just have other things going on. You know, the other day I was playing with my friend and he was like, hey, you know, we, you know, while we're playing, I'm waiting for the internet guy to show up to hook up my new apartment. And so we're playing, we're playing, we're playing, all of a sudden we just have to stop because, you know, real life kicks in. Uh, on Tabletop Simulator, uh, this is the go-to way to play on, you know, people that uh, interact with each other on Discord. And uh, I really like the, the Tabletop Simulator mod. Uh, it has um, these reminder tokens you can manipulate, the uh, defense tokens you can change the numbers on, uh, you can ping the board, you can draw lines to communicate on the screen. Um, I do find though that typing is generally ineffective as a means to communicate. In the lower left hand corner, you can see that um, all kinds of different text reminders keep popping up. And it's really nice, you know, hey, did I produce fear for this or did I not? Uh, I can't remember. Um, you know, like right there, I just killed something and it says one fear generated from destroying. Great, nice, awesome. Um, but because of all these reminders, if I were to type something out, uh, if it's not seen immediately, it'll just get lost. And every single turn when you pass, like cool like quotes and stuff like that pop up. So any like, hey, this turn I'm gonna do this, but next turn can you do this, and the turn after that can you do this, all of that will just get lost. Uh, however, you know, when we're people that interact on the Discord, we mostly talk on Discord. And so, you know, that, that's the primary way that, you know, we communicate. And that has, you know, like everything else has advantages and disadvantages. Um, you know, because you don't know each other, uh, it is very easy to not understand exactly what the other person intends. Um, you know, generally I don't think people are like bad faith, but uh, it, it, it's very possible that you just uh, misinterpret what someone else says. Um, or, you know, it, it's hard to properly express your intentions. Um, so, you know, th those are the kinds of things that happens when you have only or like primarily a verbal communication with each other. Uh, the last one is, um, is the official app. Uh, 
it's probably the worst for communication, but I mean, <clears throat> that the other two are both really good. So it's not like it's bad, but I'm gonna put here up on the screen uh, the different pings that you can use. You can only use one ping at a time per land, um, but otherwise, you know, you, you can type with each other and you know, it has the chat history saves. So that's a little bit better. Uh, of course, you have to actually look for it. I don't think it gives you any sound notification, um, but at least there's a little light up that happens whenever someone types. So, you know, there's different ways to do it. Uh, one of the big downsides of the app, though, is that, you know, people have to agree to do certain functions. So on TTS, if it's like on each board, add a beast, right? Some kind of event. Uh, everyone just kind of does that on Tabletop Simulator, whereas on the app, you have to kind of like, first you have to collectively agree that like we want to do it to this board first and then you get to go from there. So that does create a little bit of friction and it is kind of frustrating, but you know, can't all be winners. Uh, you know, it is technically more correct to play that way. Uh, when you do TTS or in person, there's a lot of shortcuts that happen. Um, but anyways, so playing with your friends is definitely the most comfortable, right? You know each other, you're comfortable with each other. Uh, your relationship is not necessarily dependent on the results of the game. Uh, you know, if you only have ever interacted with someone because you've played Spirit Island together online, TTS, through Discord, or whatever, uh, your relationship with each other is completely dependent on the game that you're playing. So if you have a really frustrating loss or, you know, there was some confusion or like a disagreement, you know, those kinds of things could just kind of spiral out of control and, you know, some kind of misinterpretation could have been made. And, you know, that's obviously really unfortunate, but, you know, that's the reality. That's how it is, right? That's the only way that we've interacted with each other. Um, but, you know, playing with friends, you know, hey, you know, we, we do other things together. We go out to eat together. You know, maybe we play other games together, you know, whatever. We're, we're sports fans together. So, um, you know, you can have just like a disaster of a game and it's less likely to have a negative impact in your relationship. I also find I'm definitely way more likely to go for memes and have just a lot less stress whenever I play with my friends just because, you know, that's how I am and that's how they are and, and, we, and we all know each other's position. Um, <clears throat> you know, so like when we're playing Stranger, like I said, like we all want to put our best face forward and it's hard to know how the other person will think or act, especially if we've never played with them before. And so that can provide a little bit of stress or anxiety because you're like, uh, I don't want to piss this guy off. I want, I want to play well. I don't want to like be the reason why we lost. And, um, you know, so that creates its own little issue, right? Like, do you want to play faster? So that way you're like, oh, I'm not so slow. I'm holding the team behind. Or do you take more time to analyze and be more precise so that you're not the reason why we lost? Um, both of those things are good motivations, but to do both, it's largely a perfectly opposite direction you need to get moved. You know, I've had situations where I've played with someone and they really wanted to, um, they, they really wanted to focus on playing fast, but then they made so many mistakes where, you know, like they were playing faster than me and then they were trying to push me to go faster and you know but then mistakes were being made so then all of a sudden like, things start going wrong and you know that 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 frustrated me pretty good right i was pretty unhappy with getting pushed and then you know having bad things spiral out of control um but you know what, what are you gonna do right if you don't gel with someone it's perfectly fine to never play with them again right there's a few people that i just don't play Spirit Island with um, on the Discord. And that's fine, right? We don't need to make a big deal about it, you know, but I know for my sake that that's just not what I'm gonna do. That's just not what I'm interested in and you no know, need to cause any chaos and, you know, life goes on. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, one of the more reliable ways to piss off your teammates is quarterbacking. Yes, okay, yeah, this is one that uh, someone asked me about. And this is basically when you tell your teammate exactly what you want them to do. You're like, well, you see uh, this turn, um, I, I see you play like this card, but that's wrong. You obviously play this card and you play it in this land and that's what you're gonna do. Um, you know, all, at the end of the day, like this is a game and we wanna play it and we wanna have fun. And part of that having fun is being able to make choices that matter. So if 
you know, someone else is just telling you what to do and not allowing you to actually just play the game, then you know, what's the point, right? Why don't you just play two-handed solo, right? This collaborative experience is supposed to involve both of us. But uh, that that's just an inevitable thing that can always happen. Now, there's a fine line to be drawn between quarterbacking and suggesting ideas. And it really comes down to your delivery. You know, if you are uh, basically saying like, no, you will do this and you will do that. Well, okay, that's quarterbacking. But if you're like, hey, if you could do this, that could create a situation where, you know, I can do X, Y, or Z better and that would be more effective and that would be really cool. Um, you know, basically you can, you can still kind of tell people what to do as long as you package it up really nicely. You know, what I like to do is be like, hey, here's an idea. How does this sound to you? Would, would this be okay for you? Is the kind of thing I might say pretty often. So, um, you know, present a line of thought, but uh, recognize that if they decide that they don't want to do it, you can't force them. Right, like let's not create toxic situations where we start a fight because, well, I wanted you to do X, Y, and Z and you didn't, so you're a piece of shit and I don't want to play with you anymore. Like, come on, let's let's be adults here. Um, you know, you can look at your teammates' choices and you can know that they're making objectively a wrong choice, and you have to decide how to react. Right, you can't control what your teammates are going to do. All that you can control is how you're going to react to them, right? So do you want to react with anger and fighting or do you want to, you know, be a little bit more mature and, you know, take it easy, right? I obviously advocate for the second. Your mileage may vary. Um, so anyways, that's kind of what I've got talking about interacting with other players, you know, really it's manners right it, it ultimately comes down to being good mannered and just you know being a good nice person right that's that's really all it is um but let's talk about spirits so the great thing about this game is that there's 29 different spirits right now and there's a wide diversity of play styles right uh you can't look at me and and, and tell me with an honest face that finder of paths unseen and uh, volcano looming high are just the same spirit, right? Everyone, there's, there's wildly different. And after Nature's Incarnate, um, if you also include aspects, there's 68 different ways to play. So that's super exciting. That's so awesome. So much great replayability and so many combinations. You'll probably never make it through every single combination. So we can take a look at each spirit's kit and see how much support they provide to other spirits using their innate powers, their unique cards. And um, well, 20 of the 29 spirits have exactly one power that targets another spirit. So that's not a really good way to measure like which spirits are more supportive and which spirits are more like aggressive. We gotta find a way to use subjective measurements. So uh, previously on Reddit, I tried to organize a bunch of spirits based on an axes of carry to support. And the feedback that I got was that that carry and support verbiage was no good. Uh, so anyways, I remade that, you know, rethought about it a little bit with uh, some different axes. At the top, we have spirits that want to soak up all the available support. And at the bottom, we have the opposite, spirits that want to tee up their teammates and let them get really far ahead of the power curve. So I put these up into four groups and I intentionally tried to make about the same number of spirits for each group. Uh, so certainly there's a lot of fringe cases where you could push one up or push one down into different categories, but uh, instead of trying to get an absolutely perfect list, I think it's just nice to have a conversation starter. And certainly this is the kind of thing that uh, should create some good spirited debate in the comments. So you know, I look forward to seeing your thoughts about what spirits you think uh, belong in a different category. Um, but the, uh, the, the general idea is that the spirits at the top are basically like the attackers. Like they have their own game plan and you know they're the ones that can create a victory if you let them pop off and the spirits at the bottom 
Um, you know, certainly struggle a lot more in solo play because, you know, they're kind of searching for a way to win. They don't have like an inherent design game plan, but they have a lot of tools that would allow them to make someone else win. So there's a lot of, you know, pretty obvious uh, ways that you can provide support, right? You could give more energy, you could give more cards, you could give elements, right? Maybe you provide some defense so that way, um, you know, instead of trying to attack the thing that's about to ravage, you can just focus on destroying everything that's going to be building to allow you to get ahead of the invaders, right? That's another way I feel like you can do support. But I feel like a big one that is not represented by just sheer, you know, target another spirit type of card is pushing. So in my last video, I was talking about heat maps of power with spirits. So talking about how, you know, different spirits can have, um, you know, higher or lower amounts of power in different lands, just based on whatever context, right? Like ocean on the coast, volcano in the mountains, etc., etc. right? There's going to be um, stronger and weaker lands. So a spirit like Finder, once again, um, is really good at setting up invaders in specific lands, allowing spirits to attack uh, in a more efficient manner, right? Maybe you're playing against, right? maybe you're teed up with Thunderspeaker. And so you can put all the invaders into a land where Thunderspeaker has tons of Dahan and they can just keep on using manifestation over and over again and, and, and kill everything really quick and efficiently. Maybe they're teed up with ocean, right? Push everything into a coastal land, so on and so forth. So that's something that I think is really important for support. And it's one of the things you intu intuitively feel, even if you can't necessarily verbalize it. <clears throat> so when you're creating a team composition, uh, in general, you can just play whatever you like, but thoughtful consideration of the composition is important too. So this whole time on the screen, I've had a gameplay of um, sharp fangs in combination with thunder speaker and both of these spirits i uh, picked those two specifically because they are two of the spirits that i put into that top category where they receive a ton of support but they don't give any support and if you've been watching this game uh they've done nothing to help each other out uh the only way that they've supposedly helped each other is every once in a while they'll attack something on the other person's board because you know they're just more efficient for whatever reason in that other land um but you know really it's just it's just parallel play you know i attack you attack i attack you attack and and that's that's kind of it so that's that's not very exciting that's not very interesting and you know, while it's perfectly fine to do it that way, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think it's all that, woo, fun, you know, anything like that. Um, instead, you'd want to have spirits from different categories. Um, to take that same kind of thinking and have the opposite example, uh, a couple months ago, I put up a video of a two-handed game with Snake and Green, and it was really collaborative, but there was no like real game plan going on. It was just like, we'll, we'll figure out a way to win. Um, and so it was fun and you know, there's a lot going on, but at the same time, you know, it was just a really hard game to play. Uh, so, you know, it was, it was, I don't know, it was just different. I would recommend having spirits from different categories. So that way you have a bit more of a sense of direction and what you're trying to do. So another axis to consider is the complexity of the spirits on the team. Higher complexity spirits are harder to play just by themselves, but high and very high complexity means that your teammates also have to understand your spirit as well so that way they can change the way that they play. So that, that is according to uh, one of the developers. He said that that was one of the justifications that they use to classify something as a uh, high complexity is that if it affected how someone else would play so you know one of the things is you know they often say that uh, many minds move as one probably could be classified as a higher complexity spirit but because of the original rules that was set up um, 
many minds does not necessarily change the way that other people play their spirit, so it does not meet that qualification for a high complexity. Um, if you have all high and very high complexity spirits in a game, it means that there um, is a lot of changes to like your standard play. There's a lot of differences that will be made relative to like a normal game. And this can create some analysis paralysis because typically these high complexity spirits also have a wider variety of choices and they have just, they have so much more going on. So it's harder to uh, make, like, make a decision. You know, it's harder to just be like, okay, we're going to do X. Uh, and that's what honestly is one of the great things about playing a, a spirit such as Lightning Swift Strike, right? Lightning Swift Strike is probably the simplest, most linear, least complex spirit in the game. Every turn, you just kill shit, <laughs> you know, and that like that's it. So having a spirit like Lightning that, you know, has a predetermined game plan every single turn is really nice because it creates an anchor for everyone else to design their game plan around. Um, you know, if you had something like, you know, Fractured Days in combination with like um, Downpour, you know, both of those spirits um, can do a lot of different things and, and repeat powers. And, you know, depending on which powers you choose to play, which ones you choose to repeat, you could play each turn seven different ways. And that is so much analysis to go through that it might not even be fun. You know, it, it, in fact, it could make the game harder because you have to spend so much time thinking and analyzing that you forgot that, that like you made a mistake or you forgot something. So um, as exciting as it is to have that set up, honestly, it doesn't sound that fun to me. Yeah, so if you see that you know, your teammates are all picking higher complexity spirits, you honestly are probably going to increase your chances of winning by choosing a low complexity spirit. Uh, just a spirit that has a set game plan, you know what they're going to do. Complexity does not equal power. That's really important to get at. Complexity does not equal power. Um, so, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I'm not a good player until I can handle these high complexities. Nah, you're a good player as long as you're having fun and, you know, you're happy when you play the game. And, you know, if, if you win more than you lose, then you're probably a good player too. It doesn't matter your difficulty level that you play at, that whether you play with a big group, play with a small group, none of that matters, right? It just matters that, you know, you're having a good time. So anyways, that's, that's just a few of my thoughts. Um, I'm going to be doing a, um, a game, or I'm going to be displaying a game that I played with uh, one of my very best friends. You know, I've known this guy for a very long time, and, you know, he hasn't played nearly as much Spirit Island as I have. So there's, you know, some light coaching going on, but not too much. Hopefully not enough to, you know, create a frustrating experience. So anyways, enjoy our shenanigans. And just like that, we're recording. Cool. It's magic. Yeah, so now you have to behave yourself. You know that I'm... If Ryan, when I signed up to do this, you said specifically that I could misbehave. So this is, this is inconsistent. <laughs> um, so hey, over here on the right side, I put up the uh, New Horizon Spirits. I don't even know if you've looked at them or not. But, uh, they're all oh, I have not at all. They're all low complexity, so they're pretty straightforward to play. Um, you've got two of them okay. that are offense. One of them is like this kind of weird, like fear control kind of guy. You've got a defense, mm -hmm. and then you've got a utility. You know, like like control. I have like definitely, I have definitely seen people on the Discord talking about the um, the uh, the otter, and now I understand why. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, he's the I weird one because he doesn't them. like dominate anything, but he does a little mm -hmm. bit of everything. I think he's really strong, Got it. but he's not easy to play. He's probably the most difficult to play of all of the spirits uh, there just Got because it. he's unintuitive. I see. 
Um, I'll skip those for now. I've been playing a lot with uh, Vital Strength and Volcano. Um, okay, I oh, make sure you played... pick a color first, by the way, or else you won't be able to pick oh, a spirit. Oh, yeah, of course. No, I just, I usually base the color off of which spirit I am, because I'm that type of nerd. Um, all right, all right. The, um... <laughs> Let's see. What are you thinking of being? Do you have a preference right now? Anything you're in the mood for today? I'll I'll match whatever you do. So. Okay, then let me um let me pull out some vital strength. I've been enjoying him lately. Vital oh, I strength. Uh, you not vital strength. For that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Stones unyielding defiance. That's me being dumb. Um sure. yes. <laughs> Probably still brown. <laughs> Probably still so still brown, yes. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah. Who to play with stone? Uh, you know, a really fun one to do is a finder with stone. So you basically make like a ravage for 75,000 and then yes. stone just hits it all right there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll, yeah I'll I, I'm on board with that. You're, you're telling me about that and I haven't gotten enough experience with finders. So I'd like to see someone else play them a little bit. Sure. I'm going to disable Russia. So that way um, they, we don't create ravages at times that we don't want ravages. Otherwise, that seems other, reasonable. everyone else, we can just let them really pile up and then just let them kill themselves. <laughs> um, and I'm on board with doing a random, um, I don't know, like we can do somewhere in the range of four to five, something like that. Difficulty four to five or like adversary? Oh, I'm so sorry. I meant adversary level four to five. Um, okay, but so know. that's going to be like seven to nine. Sure, let's do nine, it. Eight to nine. Like seven to nine? Sure. There it is. Seven to nine. Cool. Cool. Sounds good. All look good to you. I'm I'm everything you do looks good to me, Ryan. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> uh which board do you want? Do you care? Um uh, where we got see. Scotland. I'm going to Oh, it's Scotland. Scotland four. Scotland, nice. Yeah. This is like yeah. one of Finder's best matchups. Nice. So, <laughs> this this will be a fun one. Cause yeah, you just get everything off the coast, you isolate the coast, and then yeah, I'll just let them stack up real nice and tall. Yeah, we'll do something. I'm on board. Uh no, you're not yet. Your presence is still not on the board. No, I meant I'm on board with stacking them all up off the course, you idiot. <laughs> Bird Mountain without. I just got to double check where he goes. I did not literally mean that it was I was on board as of yet. Um, oh wait, hold on. Sir Mountain without Dahan. Okay, that's my bad. Um, there we go. And then adjacent land that was blight, I believe. Oh, okay. Now I'm on board. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. It did. It yeah. did concern me. Dude, some weapon. Oh, you're all the way over here. I wish you so far away. Well, Finder Finder can start on any board that he wants because Finder. Oh, that's cool right. Like that. <laughs> yeah, because Finder can do anything he wants to do. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, that is fun. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, give me one second to get situated. Okay. Um, okay. I think I am ready. All right, yeah, so yeah, the only rules we have to worry about now is uh, exploring as towns on the coast, except for setup, mm -hmm. and then build. So even if I push this dude out, it'll still build. So Right, right, um, yep. So we won't worry, yeah, because if it's adjacent, was it chart the coastline, yeah. Coastal lands, build cards, affect lands without invaders so long as there's an adjacent city. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, there it goes. He's all about the coasts, if I remember. So we can, I mean, I focus on getting presence into... Let's see. Yeah, the yeah. Yep. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um. All right. Yeah. So for the first couple turns, I'm just gonna focus on surviving. Uh, before yep. we kind of like flip that switch, and then I just start like setting you up. So yeah. Unfortunately, because it went into my coastal two, I have to uh, you know shake things up a little bit. Yeah. But what I just, like eating a blight right here on my five. Well, here's the thing. Actually, push that town out. the other option, because uh, we have a couple. So, if you, I, I can, I can put a, because I can block the blight um, if if we want. So, I could maybe put one in 
wetland six on my board and then the next turn put one in wetland five on your board to protect both of those yeah we could and then if you feel yeah. so for now i'm going to go with putting up uh, putting a presence in wetland six on my board to to do that uh because that's um that was you know that'll protect that and that'll be fine that'll do it all right so um boom let's go ahead and do that um and and again, three energy. I'm thinking I might want to set up this mountain seven as like a big old death land, just because you can always reclaim and add to a mountain. So no matter that's where true, you yeah. are in your growth cycle, you can always tee up there. So yep, hopefully that's fair. mountain doesn't come up on this next card. So that way we yep. have a little more time to get fun. Right, right. I get it to send people there. Um, okay, so I've done that. Uh, what do I want to play this? I, as of yet, because that isn't um, Yeah, I'm good. Okay. And I am good to go. Woohoo! Right. You got fast powers? Nope. All right, neither do I. Skip the first event. And nice. Build. All right. We got one here and a city here. Cool. And Oops. exploring. Oh, that city. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> exploring Young. the jungle. Ah, all right. So I have one semi problematic land, but not too much yet. Um, I don't know. No, I don't have any problematic lands yet. That's not true. You've got Wetland One taken care of, right? I'm just going to push the town out. I'll just push it out okay. into this other wetland. Yep, that, that, that's fine. That's totally fine. I get that under control. Great. Um, for, okay. Permission. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you advance. Oh, you advance cards already. So, yeah, it's just me. Um, okay. Uh, I just need to... Let's see. I don't really... Or... Oh, you know what? Um, Actually, yeah, kill, I can destroy... This town. There's no adjacent That's exactly city. what I was going... That's yeah. exactly what I was going to do, and that gets rid of that. Um, Dude, that's so, like cool. a pro gamer move right there. Yeah, I know. We're we're so good at this game, Ryan. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> um, all right, there we go. All done. Cool. All right. You said you're going to push that uh, that town out, right? Of, uh, uh, yeah, I'll push the yeah. town out fast. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm looking at then. Doing then maybe stuff. I might even drop a. Uh, I forget how to ping in this game. What's the, the, the uh, what's tab? The, tab. Thank you. I might drop my presence here and just protect that. Okay. Um, I'm not super. It, one thing you want to pay attention to is that like you're gonna need a sacred site or you're gonna need to kill the town in this uh, jungle four. I got. I've already got that taken care of. I'm gonna. Oh wait, but I'll need a. Um. Uh, you know what? Actually, that won't work. Oh yeah, you're gonna need that blight. A, a yeah. sacred site. Yeah, I'm not I too always worried about this blight. TBA. Okay. Then what I will do is I'm gonna create a uh, sacred sites and uh, on jungle four for right now, and um, then I'll use guard and store at the stony land this time. Um, okay. And that'll be fine. And that'll take care of a blight in there as well as destroy the town that pops up. So no, I should be fine there. Sure. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and put growth in my land and I get a minor power. And I love playing vital strength. Or not vital strength. I keep doing that. <laughs> I love playing stones unyielding because all you do is just go, huh, which of these has earth? <laughs> that's that's all that matters. Um, oh, isolate target land. I think you got the isolations under control, so I'll take um, rouse the trees and stones. Okay. By the way, I'm going to be pushing these cities over to the high mountain this turn. Of course you are. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Just kind of send right. them on down. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then gain, and I can play two. I can also so. push your presence over to that land if you want that too. Um, so that you know, that's not the there. worst. 
that's not the worst thing right now because then I don't need to worry about placing a presence there. So yeah, go ahead if you if you have the means to do that. I'm on board with it, with that. Then I don't need to place one there later. Yeah, because um, you know Finder's yeah. just fucking broken. So I can yes, do all of it. <laughs> he's very fun. It's very enjoyable. I can yeah, I can push half of the presence in that land out. So that's yours. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, that's a good time to play Rouse the Truth. Um, that's pretty good yeah that's not bad at all all right yeah because you're uh, adjacent think... to every coastal land so right unless right exactly and actually even if jungles comes up all yeah four i got coastal it. lands you're adjacent <laughs> to so any yeah so i've i i think this is a pretty good setup right now so there we go all right awesome fast power i have no fast powers you're moving that guy oh jesus <laughs> and i get to move some dahan in um which that will be fun because if we remember, I have the uh, the stubborn uh, what's the, what's the name of it? Stubborn solidity. So we can um, when that time comes, we can also have Dahan fighting back, which is very fun. Oh wait, I said I was gonna push out this town, and I lied. Yeah, you need to push out that town. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. No more cool gamer moves. Instead. <laughs> All right. I'm just saving that for next time. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Whoops. Um, but I'll just collect some Dahan in. Uh, actually, no, we want that there to kill that. Uh, yeah. We'll take... Was this... Um, we'll take these two Dahan. Because I yeah, want... Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, and then uh, uh, Wetland 1 and 6 on my board are taken care of, and we know that. Wetland 5 will blight, and that's fine. Okay, um, we ready? Do some uh, ravages? Yeah. All right, cool. I gotta pay two to. Um, Wait, we haven't. We have oh, to do the oh, event sorry. first. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. Yep. Yeah, just uh, just flip your little ready token. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. Uh, sorry, I thought I done that already. Okay, my bad. Oh, because of fast power phase. Yeah, I don't have many of those. Wow, I'm so selfish. Uh, inland menu <laughs> board. Replace an explorer with a town. All right, sick. Um. I don't really want to do that. Um, do I got, that. you know, I got, yeah, yeah, that's probably the way to go. Um, yeah. That doesn't really impact Each us. Player might push. Yeah. Each player may, so it's not even tied to the board. Yeah, um, we don't really have blood. Yeah, because I got okay. nothing on my lands. So okay. I could do, I could push this out. Push that um, way. Yeah, I guess that works. And then for me, this will deny, uh, if I push jungle eight out then that will deny any issue um yeah, that'll deny a build that's pretty sick yeah so cool all right get rid of that oops there we go done all right and then um cool awesome then i think that's that's it for the okay yep now ravages this guy dies and this one takes damage and then on mine i have to take a blight here but it does not cascade um you're gonna need to explain that that thing that just came out <laughs> oh if you put an invader in it it destroys it and so if it's a building it'll produce fear oh oh usually i just use the the shortcut on my mouse okay cool I oh you have a shortcut that. okay cool I yes i do have a shortcut on nope i'm good um yeah you set that up with me the first time we played this oh, yeah. um i'm such a nice yeah, guy because you're you're a smart person it's weird um Don't okay cool uh so we're do with that. We're done, good with the ravages now. Build right. Did you? So you paid two energy for the blight. Yep, I paid two energy for the blight, which should be. Oh, where'd it go? It was here. There I don't know what happened. Huh? Maybe it must have. Maybe I put it too close to the edge and it slipped off. Yeah, it probably fell off right because out. yeah, yep. the blight count went up. So. Okay, that's fine. Um. Oh, where is the blight count? I don't see it. Uh, right here. Oh, it must have fallen off. I see. It fell yeah. off, and then... Okay, yep. Okay, got it. Yeah, All right, it that's fine. should be at four, because I added a real yeah. light. <clears throat> yep. No, that makes sense. All right, and, and then uh, jungle. Yep, yep, I just got a town there, and that's it. And then everything else looks good, and then sand. So you're going to take the escalation, what? because you have... I have zero coastal buildings, and you have more than zero. Okay. They add one to the end lands with the fuse, so the two lands with the fuse is down. Dear God, I forgot about this. <laughs> so that's going to be one avoid sands. You know what? Well, one can go here, um, so that's fine. <laughs> and then, you know what? I'll stick the other one in the mountain since you're going to move a bunch of stuff over there in a second anyway. 
Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, and then, uh, and then Sans explores. Oops, there we go. One. Cool. All right, awesome. Um, cool, and that's it for that's it for invaders, I think, right? Uh, yeah. And then we go to the slow phase. All right, and this is where some fun things happen. Um, so. Oh, by the way, that needs to be a town because of the Sorry? Um, Scotland. Oh, you're Scotland right. You're one. absolutely right. That's my bad. You got it. Thank you. Okay, well, maybe I'll actually, you know what? I think I'll take that out this turn. Um, okay, well, first of all, let me do this, and we're going to destroy a town here, and then um, add a Badlands, and then remove a Blight. That goes to my box. Cool. That's fun. And then... Was the best place to do that. Um, I'm tempted to just take out the town and Sans three and call it a day. Yeah, I don't and I'll really... see if I can yeah. push these guys out. Um, okay. Fast, <laughs> so that way uh, there will be no adjacent city. Got it. Okay, then yeah, I'll just go ahead and uh, and do that, and that actually works out. Boom, done. Okay, then multiple lands taken care of. Uh, I'm also. Right. Okay, cool. All right. Um, any jungles ravaging in a bad way right now? I mean, I'm yeah, taking a but... blight way the hell over here. Which is yeah, that shouldn't be out of your range. No, I was trying to look and see because I still have stubborn solidity, which isn't really doing anything right now. So I was trying to see if there's a place I can play that, but I can't really. There's not a lot that I can do there, so there's it doesn't really matter. Um, for now, I'll just focus on expanding a little bit. Um, uh, in my growth phase, yeah, you already advanced invader cards, and oh, um, yeah, we're yeah, do we we did time passes, already, right? Yes, I think yep, we did. time yes. passes. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, I think I'm gonna drop my next one. That's actually oh, are are you gonna take care of that guy? Uh, I was gonna take these two cities and push them out. Okay, uh, which would. Um... Uh, which would make it such that there's uh, no adjacent. Or actually, I have an isolate. Ah, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true because they will. Weak there. Maybe I'll just that's isolate true. this. That's also true because what I was thinking is I can drop my guy here to protect it for next turn. But I guess if we can just move those guys out of there, that might be easier. Maybe I'll drop it here instead just to expand a little bit. Well, I've also got uh, this Traveler's Boon. So okay. um, it will give you the ability to move um, Presence from anywhere on the board into my land. So like, you know, okay. set that up as a big old death land. So like if you wanted to, you could add a presence to one of these spots and then drag that explorer out, which would then okay. uh, deny okay. the build. So that's, well, that's one line of thinking. Uh, I see what you're saying. Cause then I can drag that guy in. Um, this one already has blight. So if we, we definitely want to take care of that one earlier i would say um sure but it looks like you're set up to take care of that so let me move yeah i'll, I'll put my guy into i also have a mountain five or, or sand five but i can drop something in there at some point um so what i'm going to do is yeah and i have the ability to deal with this with this land you... i have um for each tahan do a push so after okay. it builds i could just push it Okay, then that should be fine there. I'm going to, because if I grab a new minor power, then that means I can only, I can't place my presence in either of those sands, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so what I'll do is I'll grab a new minor power since I have the ability to, to you know, just to, uh, you know what? No, but grabbing a, you the problem is because right stubborn... And then go that way. Yeah, that works. That's what I was going to do because stubborn solidity doesn't do anything right now. So I don't want to play it, which is why I want to grab a new minor. Um, mm -hmm. So... I'm going to do that, and um, yeah, I'm going to grab a new miner and then play whatever the miner is in that, unless I get something just oh, absolutely terrible. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll drop this guy over here, and then, um, yeah. Uh, wait, no, sorry. No, I didn't, I didn't want that. I wanted the other one. I wanted to get. I suppose I could have just moved the presence from one track to the other, um, but I'll do that. And... <laughs> All right. 
Earth, Earth. Oh, I got so many ones. Oh, oh that's nice. But mm, let me see. Oh man, <laughs> you could give what? me defense. <laughs> Guardian spirits. Yeah, well, that's spirits. true. If a spirit has to do that, um, I think I will. Uh, but I don't think don't I really... actually want it. I just push everything. <laughs> No, we don't really have defense. I think I'll grab infested aquifers um, because uh, that's useful in certain contexts at the very least. So I'll grab that guy and I'll play uh, Jagged Shades and that this turn. Oh, but I need to gain energy first and then I pay. And I actually have fast powers this time, so that's fun. Ooh, very exciting. And yeah, Traveler's Boom. Yeah. Um, oh, and Traveler's Boom, which means I can move stuff over. Um Okay, so Traveler's Boon, let me double check that. Target Spirit moves up to three. Okay, of their presence, they move up to one invader. Yeah, I'm gonna move the guy from uh, Mountain Two to Mountain Seven. And I'll just drag that um I'll just drag that uh that town with me. And that's fine. And then um play this, which means I can take it out of the box instead. And then what else do I need to do here? Um, <clears throat> Invaders deal. Ah, yeah, there we go. Um, what's what's going this time? Uh, you've got yeah, you got sand four and that taken care of. Um, I can't wait. Does it have to be on me? Yeah, it's range zero. Okay, never mind. Then I'm just gonna do that. All right, then that's all taken care of, and that'll kill itself since nothing else really will do anything this turn. And that's good for me. Um, oh, what? Oh, uh, did you use Traveler's Boon? Yes, I did. Yes, I took it from. I I said it. I don't know if you heard. I took it from Mountain Two to Mountain Seven with the town. Cool. Very nice. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, invader phase. Go to invader event. phase. Let's do it. They do an extra damage. All right, let me see. Uh, with buildings. Oh, that's... Only with buildings. With buildings, so all right. Blight. It still doesn't blight there, so that's okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, invaders do plus one. Okay, we're good, good. Um, destroy. Oh, cool, all right. <laughs> um, well, mine is... Ta I guess there's only one option here for the beast, so that guy goes away, so done. Um, and then... Three from lands with disease, two with lands without disease. I don't think we can do that. There's no lands with the haunted disease. All right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, no, there's nothing. All right. Jungle happens. Uh, oh, I screwed that up. I should have done this. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's bad. not blighting anyways. You no, know, it's not blighting anyway, but I'll, I'll because I, I screwed up. I, that, I meant to clean that up. That's my bad. Um, all right. Well, whatever. That's fine. Um, and then... The uh, and then sand we have no builds right. Hold on a second. No yeah, coastal is only when it no builds on my board. Cool. And then um, what are we exploring? The jungles. And neither of us have coastal on the single board with the most coastal towns or cities. Neither of us have coastal towns or cities. That's what. well, it's the most. So do we want to? I'm kind of inclined to put it on your board just because. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't actually do damage, <laughs> so that's a lot of work yeah. for me. That's true. Oh, wait, and I build here anyway. Sorry, that's my bad. Uh, um, sorry, no, yeah. that's the sorry, I went super fast, but it's actually exploring oh, here. You're um, the worst. Um, <laughs> but you do have to add two towns before the explore, technically. Technically. Okay, technically. well, let's go ahead and do that. We saw that the jungle popped up, so I say we just section them off into the jungles on my board. I think I'm fine with that. Sure. Is then I can I already have a sacred site in one of them. I can just drop a guy here and that'll be good to go. Nice. Yeah, that just has an extra explorer from the explorer. Yeah. All right. Um, go to slow phase. Let's do it. All right. But actually, I'm going to. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to push this guy this guy out um, okay actually no i'm not adjacent there so i will push it this way so that way in the um, future i can send it over okay what i'm gonna do uh is that's not gonna do anything this turn uh, yeah, 
Um, we have a build in the jungle in a second. I gotta play this second drop of Badlands, and in that same place, I have to build to. I have to push to Dahan. Do you have this guy taken care of right now? Um, seven. Yeah, Sand I got seven. It. Yep, I got two you different got cards. Okay. I can both deal with it. So I'm then probably... we got nothing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say we got nothing going on for um for really for that ravages next turn are all taken care of. You got that taken care of. So yeah. I'm probably just gonna drop Badlands and jungles in Mountain Seven. Excuse me. I'll push the Dahan, um, and that'll be fine for now. Um, because I'll push two of the Dahan. We want them back there later and at some point. But mm -hmm. um, but the Badlands in this is probably a good thing to have. Yeah, if you uh, have the capacity to get presents way out over here that might be nice just in case it all falls apart for me but, no that's uh, what i was that's what i was gonna focus on next actually because next turn i only have one minor power i only have one power but it's going but like i i i, I can use it i here's wait hold on no, no 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 i can reclaim next turn and then i can do it within range three to a mountain so i can do it to like mountain one or six on your board um sure and, and get out there so but for now let me what i'm gonna do is definitely add one badlands uh which is five that's my bad okay so badlands there and push two to han so let's push them to jungle four no let's not push them to jungle four because that's all protected and i'll, I'll use it to kill itself next turn so i'll push them out here to jungle three and or whatever not jungle three that 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 one there that and one. then um <laughs> the, that guy whatever that number is and then for me uh there's not really like, putting someplace with disease doesn't do anything so i'm just gonna go ahead uh put it in a mountain wetland one fear and um and what's the range on that uh da, 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 oh, zero so it has cool. to be my own okay then I I only really have one option where it's actually going to do anything, and that's in Mountain 7, so I'll add Disease there, too. Uh, so there we go. Um, disease 8, and then we generate a few. And, excuse me, and that's it. All right, uh, we're 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 in the process of creating the Deathland, which is fun. Um, okay, cool. Now we have. Yeah, I'm gonna reclaim. And I get two Earth elements for that. And then I get to place presence. Um, I'll drop it on. Can I reach that? Hold on, let me see. One, two, three. I can only reach Mountain One, unfortunately. Um, so these I, oh. two lands are one range away from each other because ah, my presence I, is in both. Got it, got it. I can reach Mountain Six or One. Which one do you think would be better? Is that to your board? What do you think? Um, the so like Mountain One is coastal, so like that's cool. But okay. um, Six. But the, then, like, then if you go there, you'd have to gain energy to go into here. Yeah, Whereas, let me drop it. Yeah, if you go yeah. there, then you're one range away from everything. Yep, I'll drop it in six for now, and that's fine. And then, um, no, you got Sand 7 taken care of, you said, right? Yeah, I'm going to make a build instead of Ravage. I'm just going to okay, use this uh, Call to Trade. Um, okay, uh, alternatively, I can use Stubborn Solidity, defend one per Dahan, and it'll get killed. Um, so, like, I've only got two cards in hand with two card plays. I was just trying got to, like, it. delay my reclaim as much. So, like, I, I'm playing the no, card. No, that's fair. Like, if I don't play this card, I guess I could still do everything, and I have one more energy going into next turn. So, mm -hmm. that's totally fine. I'd probably still do everything else the same. So, like, yeah, if, if you want to play Stubborn Solidity, go for it. If you don't want to, I can just do a call to trade. Uh, but either way, we're not going to take a blight there. Do call the trade because I'll save my stubborn solidity for um, for jungle eight on my board next turn, and that'll take care of that. Okay, uh, you never took that thing. Okay, um, what happened? Nothing. I'm just looking at my options. So I've got this eight okay. from Spirit Speakers. This card right here, mm -hmm. where I can push things out of a land that has Tahan. and so. Got it. If I push here, I don't have an isolate. It'll still build. 
So like it's eh, it's mediocre. Okay. If I push here, it'll deny a build, which is okay. Really well cooler. then, then let's do that. Do jungle eight, and I'll use stubborn solidity next turn on um on uh, that that jungle there. Yeah, it'll be hitting for five, so we'll need to find a way to get a couple more to Han in there. But I'm sure we can what figure if... something out. Hold on, I actually have a way to do that. I'll do that this turn. Um, here, actually, jagged shards. No, I got it. I got it. Jagged shards pushed from the earth. It'll be in the slow phase. I can add a badlands. Push two to Han. I'll add another. Uh, there's no. There's not two to Han. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Um. Yeah. Hold on. Can you get? Give me a second. Give me a second. Can you get a presence onto Sand Seven? Then in that case, when I play, oh my, hi Flora, my cat just jumped off. So in that case, <laughs> what I can do is, um, in um, in your uh, when the time comes that I play, uh, when I play jagged shards, I can you can make mountain seven and sand seven adjacent. I can no, that won't work. No, you can make. Hold on, this is yeah, yeah. So it would, it would work. But you yep. can only do it once per action, right? So you can't. Go I know from that's here why it, it yeah. wouldn't it wouldn't work that way. That's why I was trying to make it work, but I don't think that would that would do the job. So another um, line of thought that I've got is to just um, use my innate, which lets me push one thing. I'll push the town out, and then it'll build a town, and then you defend it. That works. Yep. Let's just do that. So I won't worry about moving to Han this turn. Cool. Um, okay. Cool. And I can let's see what I want to do here. Yeah, and then I'll use my push here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, um. Oh no, I don't. I can't do that. Never mind. Um. Yeah, that won't work because I don't want a sacred site over there. Um. Okay. Let's go ahead. And. Maybe I mean, rouse the trees have... is also really good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use that for rouse. Yeah, but the problem is I, I don't... Uh, well, actually, you know what? No, I got you. I got stuff within range. I, I, I'll be fine there. So I'll use Rouse the Trees and Stones. And then um, just because it's a pretty low pressure and infested aquifers, aquifers has a limit on the you know how useful it is, I'm going to use that. And um, I'll use it in Mountain 7 again. Sure. And that'll pop a town with the Badlands um, because there's there's not... There's a limit to the number of that. And then this is, it's, <laughs> I'm getting my big, um, Oh, I'm wait, my yo, big... use the two damage here and then do one to everything. So then you can like, you could probably pick off multiple buildings that way. That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like you could probably get like two cities that way. Two damage. Cause that'll be three damage there. And then hold on one to everything. Let me get rid of the aquifers. Um, you're talking about oh, rouse the trees is what you're talking about, right? Oh, no, no, no. I was saying aquifers plus rouse. So oh, the, way okay. that, um, the way that deal one damage to everything works. Oh, one damage to each invader. Oh, I didn't yeah. understand that. I misread that. My bad. Oh, that's great. I I misread that. So yeah, yeah, those two. So the okay, way well, in that the case... Badlands is basically like everything will take a damage and then you just get to deal one total additional damage. Okay, right. Not like two damage once. to everything. Sorry, Ryan, give me one second. My wife is calling for me. Hold on. Sorry about that. False alarm. What happened? Um, we thought that, again, right, because we had the um, the stuff with uh, Aaron last week, we've been more on high alert, and um, we thought, Vera thought she was vomiting, but she was just pooping super loud. So, <laughs> in case this makes it into the recording by the way aaron is my cat and not my child just in case we're all wondering <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway. no. all right sorry how did all these guys take damage there is that just what you did for for infested or... <laughs> i was just saying <laughs> i was just saying with infested um, you deal one damage to everything, and then you deal one extra damage. It's not like you get to deal right. two damage to everything, and then you get to no, deal no, three I damage, understand. so you'll kill uh, two cities. So, like, it's a pretty no, sweet no. combo. No, no, I totally under... No, sorry, I understand. I just, um, I misread it as uh, one damage in that land, or something. one damage oh, yeah. per um, per disease was what I, what I, was what I read at first. That so would that be was, so that was shitty. 
that would see such a bad card but that is pretty cool okay cool well in that case i think i i uh i forgot to gain and pay for energy so we're good um there we go and i am ready all right fast phase fast phase all right i use aha i'm at the point where i only need to pay one energy instead of two awesome and then um for all the ravages that aren't I, happening for all the ravages that aren't happening but uh, yeah, I don't have a place to play either of my fast powers, so I'm done. All right, go to event. Just just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to put it there. There we go. Just in case it says, like, it, it, it lands somewhere. Oh, oh interesting. This is so good. <laughs> Being able to uh, move your presence is kind of nice. Yeah. Move up to, move up to two of your presence to... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, I think I am going to forget a power card or two. Um I don't forget either of those. It's a forget a power card, right? Yep. Okay, give me one second. Or destroy two presents, which is generally not good. I'm planning on using... It's funny, because I would forget Stubborn Solidity if I wasn't planning on using it next turn. I think I'll ditch... Um... You think we need Jagged scar Shards pushed from the Earth anymore? I think we can, might be able to ditch that. Let's add a bad land and push up to two versus add a bad land and take and do two damage. Um, you know what's funny? If it wasn't in play, Infested Aquifers I, is totally the card. I know, <laughs> I know. I was thinking that as well, but it is in play, and we're about to you know do a ton of damage with it. So maybe also, um, well, one damage to each building is pretty good in combination. Here, that's basically like you know, deal infinite damage. So that, normally I think that plows kind of sucks, but in combination with deal yeah. to everything, that's pretty sweet. And in fact, now in hindsight, we probably should have played that. Instead we probably should have played the two of those. <laughs> ah, whatever. Yeah, yeah probably, whatever. Jagged, probably Jagged Shards. All right, I'll forget that. And then I'll take the opportunity to move some of my presence over to your end. Um, so that can stay there. This guy's not doing anything. Let's do one, two, uh, three. Uh, where do I move it? In, uh, Sansa, I'm mean, gonna move it to Wetlands just because that one has a blight already, so it'll be easier for me to drop something there. Oh wait, no, I can move it four. I'll move it to this guy, and then I can drop maybe drop another one there next turn and, and solve that problem. Yeah. You can move two presents, by the way, not just one. Um, oh, oh, then in that case, well, let's see. I already have plans for over here. I can I'm gonna move a guy out of the Deathland for right now just because, uh, um, yeah, because there's no Blight there right now, so I, I will have two turns to put something there. So I'll go ahead and just one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, I'll make, a, uh, uh, I'll make that guy there, and that guy's solid for next turn. Hell yeah, brother. All right, you gain your two energy? Uh, no, I did not to energy, and that is also useful for me since energy is kind of my whole thing. Um, all right, what else do we got? Ignore builds, one fear per board. Um, I think only my my guy has uh, fear, yep. so I'll take yep, it. Just uh, okay. one fear. Or disease, excuse me. And then when Vader's Ravage, if it has, uh, and that doesn't really matter this turn since that's, that's so not sad. <laughs> I know, it's so irritating. <laughs> all right. Um, Invaders Ravage in the Sand, that becomes a build. Jungle, we get a uh, city there, and nothing in Jungle 8. And then Explore, and I think... Yep, Sands Wetlands. Sands Wetlands, okay. Um, and I always forget... And there's no Escalation on this one. No, there's no Escalation, but the actual exploration of... Um, add Coastal Land, Explore cards, add one... Yeah, coastal lands, yep. So it's just that and that both get a town. And then this and this both get a uh, an explorer. Oh, yeah, so cool. we can finally... We haven't had mounts this whole time. So we have been sitting that. on this. It's yeah, going to be so freaking sweet, though, when it finally hits. I know, I know. Go for so All much. Right. Well, first I'm going to do is uh, one damage to each invader, which is oh, a lot. <laughs> okay, a lot. Uh, no, not flip. What is it? Page down. That's the that's the shortcut. Hold on. Oh, geez. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> All right, yeah, got and that. Then and then one plus... extra damage. All right, so that'll be my one extra damage. And then on one of those cities. Yeah, it'll take out two cities. Um, that, and then rouse the trees and stones. 
Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, I messed up. I messed up real bad. Um, what? I don't have range zero on this anymore, on the mountain, because I moved it. Huh. Um, which is my bad. Oh, I can't huh. believe I did that. That's so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's so annoying. Oh, I'm. Oh, that's dumb. That's it's so right. dumb. We're just make. We're just making sure that this is going to be even more satisfying when it finally nukes. That's true. All right. I'll. I'll use it elsewhere. Uh, let me. Let me bring it back because everything they. You know, I'm don't, not gonna. Yeah, don't bother. even. It'll auto heal. I'm yeah, not gonna bother. Good. It's just we know that that's not doing. Ah, that is a really dumb move on my part. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Well, we have mountain. Well, in that case, that card is useless to me. I'll put a, I guess I'll put a disease here. <laughs> and that's what I'll do. <laughs> and I'll get one fear. Um, and then uh, the two damage. I can at least pop a city in um, in Mountain 7. But honestly, it might be better for me to just uh, d deal with this guy here. Um, okay. and Instead of that. using the defense card? Yeah, yeah, if I do that, I mean, again, I, I still have the defense card in my pocket, but um, I, with the other, no, you know what, I'll just kill the city in, um, in Jungle 4. Or no, 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 I won't do that, I'll kill Actually, the sand. Yeah, kill, yeah. Yeah, kill I'll kill the here. sand in, um, in Wetland 3, or in, in, uh, I'll kill the town in Sands 3, and then that'll go away, and that's fine. Cool. And then, uh, boom. And then that's, I've done that. Oh, God, I can't believe I did that. I'm so <laughs> irritated with myself. All right, lesson learned. Pay attention to range. <laughs> What's range? I have infinite Yeah, I know, right? Time. Oh, God, I can't believe I did that. That's, that's my bad. That's my fault entirely. Um, okay, uh, then we have... All right, what are we doing? We so have... I did just pick up a sap to fend five. So I'm not... Uh, so useless like I usually am. Cool. But if I play it, my elements are going to be a little bit worse. So I'm going to hope that I that's don't fine. Have to. This turn, um, this turn, I got two different places protected. Um, the question is, do I want to? Well, hang on. Can I? Can I trigger it? Give me one second. Um, you half the damage. Ah, hold on. I don't have enough to. I might actually reclaim to get those two earth elements, which isn't a super great move, but that might be better. Um, because I, I, I know if I can make a sacred site in a place that you need a sacred site anyways. So that's like, true. It's not wasted. And it gives no, you that big bada boom. I think I'll do that just because I, I don't want to do that necessarily, but that'll get me up to. Well, let me see. Hold on. I can get up to three card plays. No, I can't. I, I couldn't threshold this turn unless I reclaimed. Um, then not to not to, no, to to Earth Five at least. Um, yeah. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and reclaim. Um, and uh, I'll I'll lose some energy, but I'm I'm pretty tapped on energy right now, so that's fine. And then um, I gain two mountains. And then um, I don't need another. I'll get another Picard play per turn, and that will give me another minor power as well. And I'll go ahead and drop that. That's fine. Okay. Um, what has Earth? Aha, I have two Earths. Oh, that's kind of fun. Unquenchable Flames. Oh, that's even more fun. If Target Land has Badlands, add a Badlands. <laughs> it's pretty on the yeah, nose. Although yeah. unquenchable flames, I think is like the same but better. It's, oh, it, it does have. Range. Oh my bad, I, I yeah. didn't see the threshold underneath. Okay, yeah, let's do let's do that one. Yeah, sorry, my bad. So that means I just play that with fire, which I do have. So that's fine. Playing with um, fire, Matthew. That's not safe. <laughs> um, Ryan, you and I were in the scouts. We both know that you don't have to be safe with fire. That's true. That that is what I learned. This is <laughs> it is it is advisable. It is not required. Um, okay, and in that case, what am I what am I doing this turn? So okay, so now we have we come to a question. Uh, I can have the damage be dealt back in Jungle Eight on your side or in Jungle Four on my side. The would be more efficient in Jungle Four because there's a bad land, so it would deal an additional damage, but. Um, Three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so you'd be hitting back for six here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
four or five. It's six. It's it's sixes. It's literally sixes. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I guess the question is, which one do we consider more of a threat? I would say it's okay to let this build up for a little bit because we're not going to have okay. to deal with it because this card's coastal and then this card isn't jungle. So it's at okay. least three turns before we have to deal with this guy. Okay. Um, okay, that's fair. I already have a presence here. So like I, cause I push 50% at a time. So yeah, yep. I can deal with big piles of problems pretty efficiently. Okay, then in that case, I'll when I play it, I'll drop it here. I'm gonna play a, a stubborn solidity. Let's bring that guy up, and then um, I don't want to play that yet. Oh, and I can play three cards as well. Um, well, let's get another Badlands going. Let's see. Uh, let's do Rouse the Trees and Unquenchable Flames, and get some more Badlands out there. I don't think there's anything else that is like. Well, let's see. We got Sand and Wetlands. Um, um, so because, uh, looking at my options, I'm choosing to mm -hmm. play call to trade this turn for elements. So okay. I can also just call to trade this land. Uh, okay. it's the only one that has Tahan. So okay. that is a choice that we can do as well. I'll save stubborn. Uh, well, I guess um, stubborn solidity isn't going to do any good in sand seven here. Um, but you're playing call to trade for elements. What do you have? You may gather one. Terra level is two or lower. I'm just seeing is there if there, is there any else other place we want to put Dahan right now? Um, and I don't really think so. Not in the sense that we need to. But what I can do is okay. Go ahead and do that because you need to play it anyway. I will. Um, I will play Unquenchable Flames and rouse the trees and stones, and that will threshold. Uh, another Badlands, and that'll help me to mess somebody up somewhere. I haven't decided Somebody where yet. somewhere. <laughs> Someone's gonna have a problem in a minute, and it'll be because of me. Maybe Wetland 6, I'll do it too. And then I can play something else here. Um, uh, is there a place that... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll remove a Blight. I'll use Scardens. Uh, what is it? Yeah, Scardens, Stony Lands, I'll remove a Blight somewhere. Sweet. And yeah, it sounds like you got a lot of stuff solved. Yeah, I got, let's see, this is going to be solved, this is going to build up, but this is basically going to go away this turn. And then Sand and Wetlands are where the problem is going to be. I can remove a um, Blight. Just so you know, I'm going to be isolating these two lands so they won't build okay. and they won't explore. That's uh, great. So they're going to be very nice for us for the next Wait, what about the Wait, what about the Town and Wetland 1? That one's got... Bro, that one, bro, oh. I got it. All right, bro. All right, All right. fine, fine. Uh, then in that case, next turn, the only real problem children are going to be uh, f Sand 5, and, well, I guess we got 3 going on here. Um, but let's, I can I can clear at least one of them with this, I think. Yeah, yes, Garden yeah, Stony you, Land. You have so much damage on hand. I have, like, you'll yeah, just there's kill gonna, a lot of things. <laughs> we're going to be okay for a little while. Oh, and I have when an Aventure Blight card directly destroys... That I can prevent any number by paying one energy. So no presence is being destroyed this turn either. Um, cool. Fun. Um, okay, cool. Well, I think I'm ready. This, this is good. Oh, I need to gain energy and pay energy. I keep forgetting to do that. And I still have eight energy after gaining it and paying it. I think we're good on energy for a little while. <laughs> Um, all right, I'll play that, and then I'll play this guy here, and that will... Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to flip it. All right. All right. On there. All right. Oh wait, I pushed him there, which is not legal. I have to push him here. Or okay. actually, maybe I just push him in this way and just make the kick. Sounds good there. to me. That's another. That's another damage at least. Right. Uh, there you go. All right. Cool. Um. Uh, event. Uh, we don't. We still haven't got the fear card yet. <laughs> I think we will after this turn. Hey, hey, hey! You need to pull your weight there, buddy. <laughs> In each land with at least two, push one to an adjacent land without invaders. Okay. Um, let's see. That one is isolated, so we can't send it there. I'll send him here, I guess. That'll be fine. Yeah, I only have one option there. And then this. Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, that'll pop that. All right. I think I'm good on my side. All right. That next on each board, push one. It deals one damage there. Cool. Um, I guess I'll send you... I don't know. Let's wait. Was the beast affected by Badlands? Yes. Oh, great! I'll pop a town. Awesome. I'll send him here and kill. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
That means we got a fear card. We got a fear card. We both picked spirits that generate almost no fear. Like, it's great. <laughs> it's great. We're going like, like, to run through the whole deck. I know, I know, I know. But, I mean, we're, it's gonna, we haven't gotten a mountain yet. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, um, then we, uh, all right, what's the last part of it? During hey. Ravage, defend one bird on land. Cool. Awesome. Great. So this already gets defend three, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're we're good. Um, okay, we're fine. And then I guess this would defend three, but like it doesn't matter. It's only taking one damage. Okay. And then uh, what's our fear card? Does nothing on your board, but it's nothing. I'm gonna skip the lowest numbered land matching the invader card. All right, that's fine. Okay. Um, so ravage. This goes away. We get a couple of blights from me. So we got um, here. You do the one on your board. I'll do the one on mine. Yeah, just pay for it. I have to pay two energy, one for each, and then this this gets messed up. Oh, let me just double check. So they're doing three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. So four plus two, they take six damage back. Plus one, plus one more, they take mm -hmm. seven damage back. Am I doing my math correctly? That That's how four plus two plus one works. Yeah. I hate you. Yes. All right, cool. So that means all the buildings are dead. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. And then, um, and that's it, I think. Yeah, and I already destroyed that guy. So, yep, that's all good. Sand and wetlands build. So this build and this build. And that's already taken care of for next turn. Oops, hey, hey, hey. I don't want my cities falling over until I break them. Um, all right, and then... Explore the explore coast. So Coastal lands. Yeah, you just get a town, that's it. And I get yep. two towns. Cool, cool. Um, all right, then we're... And then that's and then advance, which you did, and now I deal lots of damage. Um, all right, where do I what, what problems should I solve? Um, okay, let's see here. I feel like uh, wetland five is going to be the biggest problem. Or right, do you have a way to deal with that next turn? I will figure it out. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, let. Let me see. I got a couple of things. I can add. I'm going to be adding two Badlands this turn, and in one of them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I got. I got. Um, I've gotten this guy solved, um, or partially solved at least. And when I say this guy, I realize you don't see where my pointer is. Um, <laughs> I'm oh, watching you. I've one. already done all my one things that I can do. Yeah, so un I'm un watching unquenchable. The show. Real quick, unquenchable flames. One damage to uh, towns and cities. Is that every town and city? No. Just, it basically okay. says you can't attack and explore with it. Got it. Okay, I see. All right. Well, that's fine. Okay, then I can, I can, I can do some damage. This will be fun. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to solve some wetlands five. So we're gonna do two damage here and place a badlands, and that's not a badlands. There's a badlands, and then we're gonna remove a blight, and that goes away. Boom. So okay. And then we're going to, um, let's see, it has a bad list, which means I can destroy another town there. And add a second Badlands, or I can destroy a city there and push the Explorer. If I get that down to two, um, to two invaders, that will probably help, right? Um, yeah, I mean, like, a small number of invaders is always easier to deal with. Then what I will do is I'll play Rouse the Trees and Stones, and that will destroy the city there and push this guy. Uh -huh. so we'll push him over here, um, and that will solve that problem since he won't build next turn. And then I can do one fear and one damage to... Uh, we still have... Uh, coastal lands a problem, sand wetlands is a problem. Um... I can pop an explorer somewhere, um, Actually. or I well, and I can add a uh, bad lands somewhere. Um, what if you would ahead. drowse in this land? To okay, clear it completely instead of killing this city, because that'll just because then there's no adjacent cities. It'll just solve that build. So okay, well let's do something. Well. It all right, well, let's do that then. And um, I have to take down uh, two fear per city. Two fear so goes you got back, that. And then, yeah. and then this guy, you move that guy back already, so we're good there. And then in that case, yeah, so this is gone. And then this, 
Um, I guess I'll move him into my land since this is pretty protected right now. And that's those oh, are, or I can move him, in, <laughs> or I can. Those are still adjacent. God damn it! All right, and then I have um, I still have unquenchable flames, which will allow me to drop a bad lance somewhere um, and or kill a town because I have a defend I think... five. So I'm looking at using a defend five here. So if you kill that town, it'll be hitting for six. So my defend five will solve that land. Okay, then I'll do that and I'll figure out some other stuff on my turn, and that'll be fine. Um, and then, oh, and then I drop another a bad lands there, and we generate an additional fear. So we get another fear card. There we go. <laughs> um, so, we are running cool. away with this game. Here we I go. know, right? <laughs> and then that's it on my turn. All right. Okay, cool. And now I can uncover one of my other Earths, and I have, I, I do have stubborn solidity somewhere. <laughs> Um, uh, let, I mean, right there is an obvious place for it. Yeah, they can't be changed, so they'll just do damage back. They won't. They won't get killed. Uh, so that's the place to do it. It's a thing. It is a thing. Um, but let me start. I. I am. I am fairly confident that I don't really need to gain energy right now. <laughs> um, it's gonna be. I could gain a power card. I could gain my first major. Um, another uh, thing is if you put a presence like here. I can give you a Traveler's Boon so you can pull that town out. Oh, let's do that. Okay, cool. Um, then let me go ahead. I'll need... Then in that case, I'll need to do the one to gain energy, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, um, yeah, that's or, fine. Or, that's, or uh, that's fine. here, because I've got... I've also got... My, sorry, I'm looking at a whole bunch of things. Mm -hmm. um, so my idea right now is to like defend five here. I can use a Traveler's Boon to solve one of these two lands... I can use aid from Spirit Seekers to push out the city, which will okay. uh, deny builds here. Mm -hmm. Or at least on Let's... this one. This one still has an adjacent city. Maybe I'll just isolate, uh, like drop an ISO in this land to deny an explore mm -hmm. as well, since it's either going to be a wetlands or a mountains. Drop an ISO. You're so cool, Ryan. Dude, um, you wish the, uh... you were as cool as me. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll drop my... I think this one needs to be solved a little more urgently since it has a blight. We want to avoid a cascade if we can. So I'm going to drop... I mean, gain three energy and drop a presence there. And then we, you can use Traveler's Boon to take that elsewhere. And I'll get my first major next turn. Okay. Well, so we'd be look. So assuming that you don't do anything else, we're looking at two blight, which we're still fine with. Yeah, we still, we're, we'll be looking at two blight. I can't, unfortunately. Um, you know, I, I was working to solve some of the other lands last turn, so I don't have anything that can solve those guys. The other thing that's happening, this guy is going to do a ton of damage here, and this guy's solved. So um, the the wetland six is going to be a lot of fun this turn. Um, but the I can um, make it even but, more fun too. I'll make that my push land, so I'll make yes. it even more fun. <laughs> oh wait, but you have a defend five. Um, uh, so I was planning on just defending five right here. And oh, actually perfect. what I can do is I can push everything out such as there's only two explorers left in this land. Okay. Um, so that way that prevents a blight from existing. So we'd only um, take one real blight this turn. Oh, because it would defend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, is it possible for you to make it so there's a town and an explorer there? Because then we can pop a town as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just any yeah. two invaders would be left behind. Yeah, yeah. Do that because then we we you know generate the extra fear and the town is killed, which is always a plus. Um, okay, then in that case, I just have to play all three of. Or actually, my... hold on a second. I don't even need to do that. I could. Um. Oh well, that's eh, too late. I I did it. I did a dumb thing. Oh, got it. Well, we can't all be winners. I've already done that with, you know, the, the <laughs> aquifers thing. So that's my bad. Whoops, that's what I meant to do. Um, which, by the way, we should, um, if you can get, uh, you're using Traveler's Boon, you said, right? Yeah. All right, then I'm going to bring everything but... into, oh. I need to, br yeah, I'll bring my presence into um, this land as well. Into the into mountains, so I can use infested aquifers, because I have to use that this turn. Um, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am ready. I'm trying to decide which of these two cards I want. I think it'll be this one. Let me one. see. Which one are we looking at? Uh, these two on the right. Because uh, wind is my most important element. Plant yeah. is, like, a semi-relevant one. Really, it's a matter of do I mm -hmm. care more about sun or moon. And they're both, like, equally good. 
Yeah, um, so I would really say down to the card text. So I think enticing splendor is more likely to be useful. So I agree because that allows you to move more than one thing, and your range is is good enough that that's not really a problem. Yeah, and just um, your Dahan movement because there's not a lot of Dahan yeah, movement going on. No, there. no, and I, I forgot my only Dahan movement. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. God, I just glanced at Finder's freaking presence track. I forgot how ridiculous that thing is. Uh, okay. Uh, we're... Um, all right, so this is going to deal damage back, back, and that's going to be very, very fun and very silly. I don't know why I did that that way. What are you doing? My bad. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's going to be fun, and I used both of these. And then uh, no bad lands in that land, unfortunately, but that's all right. And then Stubborn Solidity is going to be here, and my defend, too, is Stubborn Solidity, so just remember that. Sure. Leave a town there if you can. And then you're using. <laughs> we will say those are there. Here, I'll move this out of the way. We'll make room there. <laughs> Jesus. We need to make um, a second it's... town pile. I'm afraid of that one. Yeah, falling. I know. <laughs> the first one's falling. Oh, um, there it goes. <laughs> you're using you're using traveler's boot on me, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. Target about... you. All right, target me. I'm going to bring these guys into here, and then I can actually use uh, in infested aquifers there. <laughs> so Let's that's fine. Yeah, there we go. I have to redeem myself for my, my travesty last turn. Travesty. Um, travesty. Right, this time you get yeah. the cool combo with the one. Yeah, I get the cool combo where everything. I destroy all everything. The towns and two yeah. yeah, that'll be fun. Um, okay, cool. Uh, then I, I am good on my end, I think. As long as you kill all the cities in the kickback here, then yeah. nothing here will... Oh, wait. Oh, this one's actually adjacent, so that'll build. Right. But, um... Yeah. No, we're like yeah. we're, we're largely in a good place. Yeah, I think no, we're... we're, at the we're... Now where we kind of want mountains to show up, maybe? Yes, yes. I, I feel pretty good about that. All right. Uh, events, what do we got? No! Right here. Oh, no! Uh, That's infuriating. <laughs> Oh, that's so irritating. <laughs> In the land, the most combined invaders and Dahan. Well, that's going to be uh, probably on each board, right? Yep. Okay, so wait, I'm hold choosing on. to go uh, in the land where I can't kill Dahan, so thank you for that. Wait, time out. Hold on. Here's my question, though. In the, um, oh, minimum one of each. Got it. Um,. I, I only really have one choice on my board, and it's the, yeah, the, only the have one, mountain seven. Yeah, one yeah. has one of each. Yep. God, I can't believe. Oh, that's so irritating. <laughs> um, uh, all right, well, I guess I only really have this one option. That's going to be a disease. I always forget what it is. Eight, and then I kill with the Han. Okay, and, and then um, we each game. Do I, uh, do I have do two? You gain I actually. I gain an energy? So. No, I don't think I do. No. You got no. one, that's it. I That's it, energy, yeah. I had good, one a minute I ago, and then a turn. <laughs> I had one a minute ago, and then disease killed it. I can't of all the cards, Jesus. Oh, um, well, they don't heal. Oh, oh, they don't heal. Yo, oh, that's good. We could just put like everything at one HP <laughs> and then figure yeah. it out next turn. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. <laughs> like you just like reclaim and you play all of your one damage to everything cards. Oh my just, god. Oh, yeah, that's not work. <laughs> All right, um, Sand Mountain. Um, it's Sand, Sand Mountain, Mountain does its yeah. thing. So these ones both go away, and we wait. Hold on, did you gain a Sphere card just now, or how are you destroying them without? Um... Oh, there's um, there's a little button that came on the event that I clicked, and it disables Sphere. Oh, so okay, great. So, yeah, so unless we, so unless we manually click it. All right, well, I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, you can use your triggers and all that, right? Like, all right, check well, it out hold on. up here. I'm gonna drop it in the destroy bag. And no fear is produced. So you're okay, ready. cool. All right, great. Then um, this one, I'm gonna get a blight here, unfortunately, but that is what it is. This one up here, I gain a blight, but I pay an energy, and it becomes basically not a blight, and that's fine. Um, and then it does a ton of damage back to itself. But I gotta count up to try to destroy 12, the least amount. Sixteen is um, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. It's hitting for thirty. So that, would so be that means 15, it's doing 17, 17 damage back to itself. Well, I'll kill the explorers because it doesn't matter. We don't get fear from them anyway. Now, that's now we're all... it is worth considering 
you have to kill the cities or else you're going to get a build here. Uh, so you have to decide if that's something that you care about. I mean, I you mean, very we well could just reclaim and then um, put the uh, defend on it because of the Dahan. That's true, yeah. Um, I, I have to reclaim this turn anyway, so I'll plan on doing that. But I mean, at the same time, yeah, I'd rather... Cause, ugh, that's so irritating. Because um, we're there's so many... All right, well, hold on. Let's count up how much life we have here. So I have, I have 15 damage that needs to be done back to them because I already killed, used two to kill the explorers. I've got 12 in cities and eight and 18, it looks like, in towns. Or no, no uh, two, uh, 14 five, six, in towns. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you have how much damage? 15? You got 15 damage to use because I already used so killed the two. You can deal two one damage to everything and then deal three more damage to cities so that way you don't kill okay. anything but everything <laughs> is is ready to die this is such a you could leave one of the towns at full health so that way there's two damage on all of the cities okay well let's see let's start doing this so that's eight damage i got which means i got um seven more to go so one two three four yeah, I'll I won't leave him at two. I'll do five, six, seven. <laughs> okay. Did you uh so my idea though was that like you take the so three of these cities have two damage. If you yeah. like heal the town, you could put a second damage on a city. So oh, that way, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Alright, then this guy's gonna be at full life. I'm just kinda yeah, I yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm not as quick about it as you are. There we go. Boom. And then this guy will be... Okay, now all of them are at... And then we need to lock them all. Nope. Oh, uh, no. I, I believe it should... Um, uh, there, like, this fear card had a button on it that said disable okay. heal. So that should also be taken care of by itself. Okay, great. All right, then let's go ahead and... Um, that's it for my Ravage, um, I think. I already took my Blight. I did... I don't believe I... No, I paid my energy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I think I paid my energy for that that blight coming off. Yep, I did that. Okay. <laughs> Build time? <laughs> I Build guess. On the coasts. Um, so this guy's gonna get one, and this guy's gonna get one. Um, and then... Uh, or, yes! Yes! Mountain. <laughs> Thank Christ. Finally. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Um, I think I have the most towns... It's city. Well, we're tied, actually, right? For uh, escalation. I have two and you have two. So, yeah, we're tied. Um, maybe just take it on your jungles. That's what I think I'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I got that. All right, cool. Um, and then we get an explore in mountains. <laughs> Finally, the first one in the game. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. I can't believe it. All right. <laughs> this, this turns so stupid. I know, it's so dumb of all the events we could have gotten. Hey, it's oh, good that you have two disease in this land now, right? So you can just I know I have two disease exact same cards. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, this is so irritating. Alright, um <laughs> What I can do the other thing I could do so I don't waste this plows shadow on the rocky ground, I could destroy a town. Like I could destroy um the town in sand three. Or maybe to make sure that the just are... because um, it's going to ravage build. so I guess that's true, because, yeah, that'll get rid of that. All right, let's do that. Well, we have these guys are ravaging next turn, but I guess I got this one covered with um, with solid solidity, or stubborn solidity. Solid solidity, that would be such a dumb card name. Um, so, <laughs> all right. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at my... I've got a lot of options, as always, but I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. I can clean up a few of these things. What I'm going to do, I'm going to kill... two. I'm gonna kill the town and uh, the the land the, the town and sand three because in jungle two you're gonna be this one ravages next turn this one will build and ravage but there's a disease so it's not actually going to build so either way we're just dealing with one town and this ravages sooner so this will that'll give us an extra turn so I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this guy okay um so all right well okay it made it so I didn't waste that and then um what time do we got we got actually one. actually sorry can I push back and protest. Uh, uh, yeah, wait. Splight, enticing Splendor has to target a land with no Blight, and all of these adjacent <laughs> lands of these towns have Blight, so I could just pull it this way. Okay, or this then way. let's 
All right, then I killed yeah. that guy instead, and now you can go ahead and pull that. And then I, that's, that's just one of the All ways, right. so I can deal with that one. All I right. can probably deal with that one. And then this one, um, I'm sure I can deal with as well. But All right, well, now I can finally use Infested Auk for his target land is like one damage to each. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to kill one, two, three. And then everything gets one damage. <laughs> everything gets oh. a damage plus... Plus one Plus extra damage one. at the end. So I'll do one to an extra. Um, I'll do one to an extra um, city, city, which I have already done. So that's fine. Nice. All right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what, a, what a stupid Dude. turn. Dude, you know how so many irritating. You know how many fucking fear cards we're gonna get this next turn. <laughs> I know. I know. All right. I'm. I'm all done on my end. <laughs> Dude, this is like four fear <laughs> cards right there. <laughs> So dumb. Alright. Um, no! They did all. Oh no, no, no they, they just they straight ranged themselves. Okay, yeah, we're good. Just... We're good. Yeah, some of them were spun. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Um, I have to reclaim. That's fine. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll just play those two cards again. <laughs> um, I gotta play Stubborn Solidity, and that's gonna be... so. Um, I've got this, all three this... of these tape. They're all good. I've got all of them covered. Oh, all three of them are covered. Oh, in that case, I, I won't... So, uh, Wetlands 1, Sands 3, and Jungle 3 are all taken care of. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm a gangster. You know me. Okay, alternatively, I can play Stubborn Solidity here and kill this town. Um, But it sounds like you, you really want to just take care of it. I want to feel like I'm providing value to this team. That's fair. All right, then in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and destroy everything again. <laughs> just play as much stuff as possible <laughs> to kill things. Um, oh, wait, I have to actually play some presents first because I haven't done that. And I take two of these. And then I need to... Um, oops, oops, I did something that informed an error, but I have no idea what. And then I get to play some presents. Um... I guess this is the way to go, and that'll become another sacred site somewhere, or I stick it on another mountain. Um, what do you think might be problematic soon? I think that I'll just stick it on the mountain and make a make a uh, on the uh, Deathland. Yeah, make a site actually, there. well, oh. this mountain right here is gonna build. So that's, oh, that's like, true. That's a thing right. that exists. Yeah. I'll throw it there. That's fine. Um, I got two sacred sites right next door to each other there anyway, so that's fine. Um, all right, I did that. Yeah, I am eventually you're gonna want to remove, you know, a blight here, blight there, but that's that's a couple turns in but the future. For now, I'm just gonna destroy everything. So infested aquifers and plows <laughs> shatter, and then I think that scarred and stony lands the way to go, because uh, then I get to do some bad land, some bad land stuff um, as well, and remove a blight, which is always good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna pay for it, and then. In yeah, and then fast phase time for me, um, and then there's nothing really ravaging this turn that'll do damage back to itself, right? Uh, no, nothing is ravaging this turn at all. All right, then in that case, yeah, I, I guess just in case there's some weird event card that you know, I don't know, I'll throw it here just in case there's some weird event card that causes a coastal town to appear or something. Um, I, I'll just toss it there, and that'll be fine. Um, and that's it. Um, yeah, that's I'm I'm all done on my end. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't don't fuck us. I, I can promise nothing. All right, good. This one doesn't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> good. Right, cool. Wait, we're not. No, we're at stage three. Build in a land with invaders not matching a build card. Um. So. So maybe. Sand? I'm thinking Sands. Wetland will give us a couple extra things. Wetland Sand. will give us this. We can't pick Mountain. Jungle will give us... Jungle might not be a bad option Jungle either. will give us this. That's true, which is Coastal. I think Sand... Uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh but, but it's fine, actually, because take a look at the Dahan part. Choose a land with a push one town per Dahan there. Oh, yeah, let's right, do so Jungle. We could, we, could choose wet, like, we could choose Wetlands or Jungle, and either way we get the push, so that we're still not going to take the... Um, the blight. So, really, comes I down guess, to uh, wetlands. You're already going to be knocking up a little bit in jungle. Yeah, we, we don't really have a plan for. Eh? All right, let's do wetlands, and we can we can mess them up a little bit. But now I need to figure out where I'm building a town or a city in this goddamn it's wetland. A city. I think it's, it's <laughs> definitely like a twelve city. towns. Yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> All right, let's see. Is there a spot Hold on, there? Let's just there put that go. as an extension. Yeah. An extension that's, of the land. That's a good idea. <laughs> it's the finder land. I was preparing yeah. it over here, but it, it actually happened over there. Right, yeah. Okay, and then, um, okay, and then, oh, choose yeah. a land with those. Uh, that doesn't affect anything, really. Oh, it, um, it affects that right there. Sorry? The, no, in lands with blight or strife, or disease or strife, excuse oh, me, sorry, invader sorry. skip have job actions, that doesn't really skip anything. Or that yeah. doesn't really impact anything. Um, I guess I would skip it here, but it doesn't really matter because there's nothing there. Um, and then it, we just push the town, and if you want, you can push it into wetlands again since I'm going to be messing them up just a tiny bit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. There we go. <laughs> my extension. <laughs> this is so insane. Oh, Ravage my God. the coast. Or ravage the coast. Yep, we're good. Building mountains. Uh, this build. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do your board. I'll do mine. One of these goes away. Okay. And then this guy goes away. Uh, there's no adjacent no. city. No, there's no adjacent city. He's good. Yep. So, mountains yeah, I'll do it on that. Mountains, mountains. Now we're getting our fucking mountains. Now we have to. Yeah, now we're going to. Now gonna... the starts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. No, this is a town. Sorry. That was my bad. All right. Okay, are we entering slow phase? <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Um, so before you do your thing, yeah, why don't you do your thing first? I just have, I have one be... push power, which um, lets me put a lot more stuff in the land. Um, um, so if you want, we can push a bunch of stuff from. Well, hold on, I have to do because I do not have disease in wetlands. But I do have it in. It's at Mountain 7. So I have to do um, one damage to each invader in in Mountain 7. Yep. And that also has one Badlands or two Badlands. That just has two Badlands. Um, so I guess the question is, do you want me to do that first and we see where we land from there? <laughs> well, basically, I'm just going to be pushing um, two cities in a town. And I can put it to either place. And I don't think we can efficiently kill them in either location. So maybe we'll just push it into the city because oh sorry the the the, the mountain because the mountains. that's going to ravage and die next. All right. Here's our mountain extension. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The first one I'm going to do is I only now. have one Yeah, the only I only have one choice of what to do here. It, well, actually, hold on. Um one damage to each and push up to one town. I'm going to do that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that actually in wetlands. Okay. So one damage to each and push up to one town. So we're going to go ahead and this will be... That's dead. That's dead. Wait, no, hold on. I don't want to do that actually. Um, a little late now, but um, because what I want to do... Those are going to die anyway, but what I wanted to do was this guy first and add a badlands. Sure. Yep, so two damage... So, and then add a bad lands, yeah. So, you so can put, I'll like, kill two damage on the city, maybe. Yeah, I'll put two damage on this city and then add a bad lands, which is five. I've got there your blight go. for you. Awesome, thanks, appreciate it. The blight goes away, thank you. Um, and then um, that's all solved. And then now it's one damage to each invader plus one. So these all go away. This dies. This dies. This dies. This dies. It's, it's 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 literally buffering because of how many things it's killing. <laughs> All right, this gets one damage. This gets one damage. This gets one damage. We don't need an extension land there anymore. And then I can do one additional damage, which I will do to just one of these towns, and it yeah. dies. It doesn't actually hit the um, explorer, oh, why? so you know the, that guy's a he's a tougher. He's a tougher. Oh, I'm sorry. He's good to go. He just watched every land he around just him get happen. destroyed. And you get to push yeah, the and then, so that's sick. <laughs> so I'll push. I'll push it down over here. Here we go. And then in mountains, we're going to go ahead and do uh, one damage to each invader. So let's do cities first. That's a... Oh, hold on, actually. Um, that city dies. And these all just get one damage. And then these towns die. One, two, three, four. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, everything else gets one damage. Uh, so let's do that. That one does hit the explorer. That one does hit the explorer. And you get one more and, damage right now. 
I get one more damage right now because I'm pretty sure I already did the damage to these guys. I'm fairly certain. Um, because I left, I think I left a bunch of them at two health. So yeah. I'll just kill yeah. one more city. Yeah. And that was <laughs> has three fear cards, not quite four, but still. <laughs> and now I'm good, though. <laughs> That was not bad. That was not. That wasn't a bad way to set things up. And then this guy is solved for next time, so we're good. Hey. Um, yeah. Hey, awesome. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, you did time passes. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Let's see what we do now. <laughs> um, I have to play. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll finally take a major card. That might be the way I could go about this. That was a very fun. That was a very fun turn of events. In retrospect, it really wasn't too bad. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to gain a major. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, wait, God. What has Earth? Oh. God damn it! The only one with Earth is unlock the deep, the gates well, of deepest power. Yo, jungle hungers though. Where's Just the jungle kill hungers? Kill all, true, destroy all towns. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. I do have a there. That's not bad, and I have a guy on jungle, so I think I have enough Earth to last for now. Unfortunately, there's all see. these cities that it doesn't kill, but it's something. Yeah, but that's still clean up some lands. I'll take it for now. Maybe I'll take another major next turn, and um. And uh, and clear it out. Wait a second. Okay. Um, I forget something though. I think at this point, I think Infested Aquifers has run its course at this point. I don't <laughs> think I really need to deal with that. No. Why wait. Not? Wait. Hold on. Sorry. For Shane, such a good card. <laughs> it is a good card, but I guess. Well, what else would you destroy? I'm or just, what, I'm just would you with you. I hate you. Um, I still want. Ah, eh, you know what? Because that is one damage to each. Because the problem is Infested Aquifers has the conditional of it has to have disease. And yeah. we're going to lose most of our disease. So yeah, I think that's the... I, yeah, so let's get... It's going to be it's gonna be too inefficient to, to deal with that. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I can drop this and play all four of my cards this turn and gain an extra minor. But I can only drop it within one... Um, what's going to become a problem? I'll, I'll drop it in... Uh, this mountain here, and I have um, I have a mountain six taken care of as well. Um, okay, gain. Oh, and I gain a minor power because I just got another card play and a minor power. Cool. Da, da, da. Let me get. Oh. Oh, that's fun. Hazard spread across the land. It's more badlands. That's pretty nice. As more Badlands, which isn't bad for me. Um, and then I just have Defense of Nature's Resilience. Yeah, I think Hazard Spread is the way to go. Alright. Um, Stubborn Solidity, let's do. Um, jungle Hungers, let's, uh, that'll clean something up. Um, uh, are you going to be able you to know, hit your... I can, you need to I hit can your threshold this turn. Oh, I will be able to. I should be able to. Yep, I'll be able to. I can play four. I can play four cards, so I have enough for that. Okay, good. Um, yeah, four cards plus two. I, yeah, you're good. I can actually threshold the jungle hung uh, hungers. Yeah. If you can threshold jungle hungers and hit your five earth, then that's just GG's. I can do that, but the problem is then I don't have... Um, you have to take care of um, not mountain... Uh, what did I, what did I, what did I have? Oh no, I got everything, everything's covered. Yeah, we're good. Um, a couple of Dahan are going to die in mountain six, but other than that, we should be fine. Um, one Dahan exactly is going to die. Yeah, we're good. We can we can afford that Dahan. Um, yeah, I've got. A, I'm going to be putting up. Um, I, I I'm trying something a little different, and I think it'll work just nice. So okay. Whoops! I didn't want to flip all those. I still had my card selected. All right. I am I am all done at this point. Yeah, because I don't have. I'm like one element short of like really hitting the juice. So, oh yeah. Um, yeah, because if I had one more sun for my, uh, left, for that extra one push, but alas, mm -hmm. this is what I'm going to do. Whoa. So with, um, this traveler's boon, I'm look, I'm looking at maybe you just taking that town in. Yep. Sounds good to me. Um, uh, send and then this I guy over here. Half rounded down. Here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna add. You know what? Hold on a second. Um, choose a type of token that exists in an adjacent land. Uh, I'm just gonna add a second dad lands in that mountain. An extra damage there. <laughs> This is such a mess. Um, and then I used you. And then I got one here and one here. And then I'm going to, this is the extension. This is going to come here and flip. So I'm targeting this one for when it when it ravages. Where are you thinking? Oh, well, I just have an isolate. And there's like, it's hard to identify like anywhere that's useful for it. Because yeah, that's really true. Any pockets. But um, alas. maybe just somewhere on the coast to try to keep it from. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess mm, yeah, the right wetlands are gonna like, build kind of, kind of weakest right there. So that's I guess I'm yeah, thinking. that's the place to be. Yeah, because it, it will be adjacent to a city by the time uh, it gets around to. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. But that's fine. That's, that's I think that's the way to do it. Um, I am all ready as well. I don't know if you flipped that you're already, but yeah. Hold on. I I I didn't flip that I was already. So next time know. you Why use do a power. I it's, hey, it says on the card, give him a disease token as a reminder. Oh, okay. I was like, why do I suddenly have a disease? I didn't even see you bring it down. Okay, cool. All right. I think let's this do... could be the game-winning turn. Or at this least, might like, be, we'll be really winning. close to it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do our event. Um, yeah. What we got? Uh, okay, so uh, d um, this card... This is, the, this is the one that was removed from the game, right? And replaced. Do you want me to... Um, create the new war touches and uh, we could play with the one that hasn't even released yet sure let's do that all right this is where i'm gonna like cut the tape because i have to go like make a card <laughs> give me one second does that work can you see that uh, yeah how did you do that uh, far off wars touches the i touch the island yep okay, so cool. I gotta right, scale it's, that it's much up. smaller but okay ah cool all right awesome Cool. All right. Eddie. All right. Invaders defending the island with them might come in. Okay. So first things first, we have to add a fear card to the top no matter what. Okay. So that goes there. Cool. Okay. And then on each board in the land with the most buildings. So. <laughs> so I've wonder what that could be. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Sorry. Um, sorry about um, that. I don't know what happened. So there. I've got a couple choices, but you don't. And Yeah. No. I this will um, allow you to either kill a town, but don't gain fear, or uh, destroy half the buildings and add two blight. I think destroying the town for me is a no-brainer. I think um, I'm just going to destroy the town as well without producing fear. Yeah. So we'll just pop it off the island. Yeah, because because it's one of those things that like w w that's going to all get killed this turn. So. Yeah. Yep. Add the badlands to <laughs> that's fun. Um, I guess, um, I guess I'll throw it on the sands. That's on each board, right? Yeah. Yeah, on each board. Um, I'll toss it on the, the sand because I don't have bad lands there yet. Gather one or two into a land with setup symbols. With Dahan setup symbols, right? And that's like, yeah. it's got to be returned to old pillars. Um, I could definitely... No, I, they, they're just going to die if I send them there. Um, I don't really Wait, have... Wait, does this one place. have no adjacencies? <laughs> that has no adjacencies, no. Um, so uh, I think... Okay, you, you, know, you can go this way. You can go this way. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because I don't really want to bring... Um, yeah, I don't really want to bring that guy in there. Um, and okay, cool. I don't have anything. I guess if, if you have... I don't think this one matters for board and land order. But if mm -hmm. it did, I would just split these. Anyways. Okay. Anyways, now we're ready for some fear cards. Okay, let's do it. And this is level two, I believe, right? Yep. Oh, Gather dude, up to dude. one. Yeah, there's only one land where it's good. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. killing that. But it's good. Okay. Uh, okay, explore doesn't affect coastal lands. Okay. And then, uh, oh, hey, check it out. Uh, removes a dude in a town from a land with beast or a dude adjacent to a beast. So I'm going to pick up that guy. I'm just going to go ahead and remove, I'll remove uh, Wetland 6 and that'll be done. Yeah. 
Yeah, cool. Wow, awesome. isn't aren't fear cards great? Fear cards are excellent. <laughs> we should, They're we should so take good. some more often. Yeah, yeah, we probably should. Uh, ideally, okay. So now uh, let's do a ravage. <laughs> um, all the other. Okay, okay this is where. I'm all gonna, right. Um, hold on. I'm gonna take all the towns Both. onto here and all the cities. That's a good there. idea. All right. So I got the cities. You got the towns. You got six, and oh, I've got I got five. So, that's so I get eighteen plus ten for twenty-eight. So, so 28 total. There's two bad lines, which means first of all, I mean we gotta bring out the blight and I have to lose one energy. We need to do we need to do this right, right? Yes. So the blight comes out and I lose one energy, which I've already done. And they have done 28 damage to the land, which means they're getting 14 damage back plus two. So 16 plus two more for the bad lands. Uh -huh. So 18 damage back. Which is enough to kill every single city. Yes. <laughs> Which, actually, that's so all the cities in the game. That's not enough to hit Terra level 3, but by golly, we're ready. <laughs> we're getting close. <laughs> and we can drag those guys back. You, you, did, you did your time honorably. Did my, I did my the one thing I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny is that, like, because there's only one Blight and you've got a Sacred Sight, we can just do it again next turn. <laughs> just do it again next turn without a problem, yeah, honestly. Um, Alright, it builds. Um, the disease goes away. Yeah, in the mountain wetlands. And then, yep. And then not, uh, yeah, we got, uh, this is fine. Yeah, only that wetlands builds, though. Are there any diseases and on the board? Yes, but it's not relevant. Okay. No, so, it's not. So, yeah, Explore doesn't affect coastal lands. Right. Jungle wetlands. So, jungle wetlands, so it does explore there, and then it explores here and here. And there. Yeah, that's fine. And oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. Yep, my bad. Okay. All right. Ooh, really? Fun. Well, oh, oh, hold on. No, this will this will solve. Um, the other thing we have to keep in mind is the jungle hunger uh, hungers, which destroys all towns. <laughs> so... Oh man, hold on. Do I have? Uh, I don't have any pushes. Never mind. Carry on. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Uh, hold on a sec. I might have some pushes. Hold on. Oh, uh, by the way, Matthew, I want you one... to know. I'm producing two fear right now, okay? So it's okay. it's not it's not all you, okay? Thank don't, you. Don't I appreciate think that you're the only one contributing to this team. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I can do is, well, so I guess that one's going. Here's the question that we have to ask ourselves: Is that one is going to blight? It is going to attack again next turn. I'm gonna do a bunch of damage to it. Is it more valuable for me to use the jungle hungers? Elsewhere to clear like something else, it will be less fun. But I, like, I could clear out this guy and make it not a problem next turn. I would make the argument that you want to kill this, and then you okay. add a presence here. Okay, that's fair. That's reasonable. Okay, mm -hmm. then jungle hungers on that that mountain, and I don't destroy any Dahan. That doesn't really matter. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Of that. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, difference. that was great. That was awesome. Well, in fairness, it wouldn't in this particular scenario wouldn't it? The threshold doesn't actually do anything. But um, you were being sarcastic, weren't you? <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Okay, and then two damage to rouse the tree and stones. Two damage to this guy, and I'll push this. Oh, we earned a fear card. Awesome. And then, um, and then I have one fear, one damage to town. Okay, I'll take out that last town on my board, and uh, well, not on not the last town on my board, but um, yeah, and I can add another Madelines there, which is fun. Um, is there? A, well, here's the question: Is there a place more useful for me to? Oh, you know what? I can kill a city in um, in Wetlands 5, and that's the last city on the board. Um, I would think to go for this one to prevent a city from okay. existing, especially that's if true. you use your innate in this land to kill that city. That's true, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that, and then I gain an additional fear because of it, and I get to drop another Badlands. God, I, I love... I love stones and yielding. And, uh, <laughs> He's you, so much fun. Matt, you, you forgot I'm the sorry? disease... Oh, I did forget the disease. <laughs> what was the deal with that again? <laughs> Any, anywhere that you did something this turn, you can add a disease. So I think you targeted oh, here, okay. here, and here are the three lands that you targeted. So you could do um, any of them with a disease. I guess, yeah, that's probably the most logical place. The only other place would be this wetland six, but it doesn't really matter either way. Um, so yeah. that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, then I'm all done. All right. Um, I'm sure. Okay, so if you counterattack here with those 
Um, there's only two other buildings on the board. I mm-hmm. will put all the buildings into that land, and we'll get a Terra Level 2 victory. Sounds good to me. So I will focus on doing the push, and you'll focus on doing the kill. Okay. I get to reclaim all, and I get two additional mount- or Earth tokens, which doesn't really matter. Um, wait, hang on a second. No, you all right. In that case, you need to do Traveler's Boon in some capacity because otherwise, I cannot move there. I have to reclaim this turn, huh. um, which means I can only place it in a mountain. Which means I have to reclaim this turn. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. I mean, when I reclaim, I gain infinite range, so mm-hmm. that's cool. I'm gonna gain a major. I'm sorry. My... How does that work? You may ignore range this turn. Jesus Christ, I forgot about that. I'm gonna gain a major because I want to feel like I'm contributing to this team. So. Why would you? Why would you? You are contributing. You're setting everything up. You're the spotter. I'm the sniper. That's how this is working. Okay. Um. So you do like the bump set, and I do the sp- like I do the bump set, and you do the spike. Yes, basically. All right. <laughs> That's exciting. Uh, wait. I need to to slide a presence into here, so that way I can then. But now I don't have range. Okay. Okay. Here's what I can do. I can okay. use enticing splendor to gather this town into this wetlands. Okay. Right? So then if you can just drop a little defense on it using your um your, yep. your Dahan defense uh, card. Yeah, because I, I, I haven't used it well, like the entire game. <laughs> and then I can just innately do that with my um with my Move on presence. Move or... on presence. Okay, and then I travel as Boon, and which allows you to get a presence in. And, okay, but uh, hold on. I I I'll haven't even placed a presence yet. Yeah, I have, let me see where I should place it. I it don't think it. Yeah, matters. I don't think it matters. Point, so whatever, I'll just stick it there because it's a mountain I'm not in yet. Um, and then all right, go ahead and do travelers. Oh wait, hold on. But I have to play some things first to to kill some things. And I just I'm need playing, the earth. I'm playing a major that I'm thresholding. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, well this so, will be fun. Uh, I okay. I am doing a lot for this team right now. I'm I'm very proud. <laughs> Thank you. It means a lot to me, really. Um, am I gonna threshold? Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and threshold the jungle. Oh wait, no, I can. I can only play four. That's my bad. Um, but I need to play stubborn solidity. But I guess I don't really need browse the trees. It does not matter. So let's go ahead and drop that guy, and then will allow me to threshold. No, it will not. Um, yeah, I have to play. Yeah, yeah, I can't threshold this. But uh, jungle hunters this turn. That's fine. I can live without that. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. <laughs> um, all right. I gain. I pay. Um, I am ready. All right. So right cool. Gather. So gather that. Traveler's cool. Boon, and, yeah. then, and then let me go ahead and play. Defend one for Dahan. And that's going to be here. So. All right. And then I need to Traveler's Boom into this into number five if you've if used it yet or uh, all right up well, to three to one of you yeah yeah you can move up to three later. presents into one of your lands so let's go ahead and you know what we'll bring this guy over here and that'll bring this guy with us and we'll bring this guy over here and that'll bring this guy with us nice nice and just for kicks and giggles, we'll bring this guy over here. <laughs> That'll bring this with us. All right, all right. I mean, why not? Or just add to the damage, and it's protected at this point, right? Mm-hmm. And then I have used that, um, and I need to use this, and I need to choose which one to counterattack, and we both know which one that's going to be. That one. Boom. Oops, that's what I wanted. I wanted that. All right. And then that's all I... Oh, wait, nope, I do have one more. Oh, why not? We can add another Badlands there. <laughs> oh, spoil. Let's go. Don't spoil why yourself. Not? Might as well. <laughs> all right, and then um, that's it. That's uh, that's it on my end. All right, are you ready for this uh, event card to fuck it all up? <laughs> <laughs> this event card. Hey. <laughs> Wait. Invaders do not ravage a oh, land unless there are more invaders. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ravage Wait, no, that, 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 no. <laughs> that fucks it all up. No, I think I can still clear I, I might be able to still clear that out. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I you, you got rid of the, You can't even jungle hunger zit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. So 
No, okay, wait, no, it's a Jason. It's a Jason. It's a Jason. It's a Jason. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I can. Oh. I can juggle. <laughs> 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 like that your viewers are going to have like a good solid minute of us just laughing and going no uh oh, in each land with no. beast one damage <laughs> we'll deal with it in a minute in each land with beast one damage doesn't matter yeah it's actually the um, no dahan pushes so no no dahan pushes that's fine all right let's do our fear cards okay one energy per sacred site so you get one energy Okay, I know you're I, one energy. Which cool. could you all from? 10 oh wait, no, up. I get two. I get two energies if we do one energy per sacred site. I got two sacred sites. Uh, with I invaders. get three sacred sites. It has to have invaders. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I didn't see that. I didn't actually look at the card. I got I gained one energy because I needed the energy. I'm at ten energy. Like <laughs> scapegoats. This actually could also fuck us up because it kills off all those explorers. <laughs> it kills off all of the explorers. Yeah, so it kills off four explorers. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so we can gather that in, which, and we can gather that wait, wait, wait. in. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep. Yeah. Um, invaders do not ravage the land unless there are more invaders. We're at level two. Dang it! Oh, wait, all you right, can gather that in. That's adjacent. That is adjacent. That'll blight, but yeah, it, that doesn't matter. Doesn't we're, matter. we're good at this point. Awesome. All right, it ravages. Oh, it'll flip the blight card, though, so that's cool. <laughs> that, there's, there's blight cards that add buildings, so that could be another way we could get fucked over. No, it won't flip the blight card, I don't think, because we're we're doing jungle wetlands. Oh, wait, this yeah, is all Scotland all 4, not Scotland 5. All right, we're good. Scotland yeah, 5 would have added an extra blight and flipped the blight card. Oh, we got it. Without the ocean, that's right. Yeah, we're on Scotland 4 right now. Okay, all right, so now we, we do our ravage. <laughs> That's where we are, right? We're at our ravage. Yep. All right, let's do this one first. So we get a bl a real blight, blight uh, a real blight, which I got, and then but these guys do not change because they're they're they don't get hurt because of my card. So all these guys die, and then um, we do this, and we're looking at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, mm -hmm. um, which is going to be uh, let's see, half of that is. Five plus two is seven plus three is eight, which is enough to kill. Uh, one, two, three, four, three five, is six, definitely seven. Not eight. <laughs> what did I say? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're like I did seven enough. plus three. That's eight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're an head. engineer. You I don't. Wait, you what are you to... working on? So I don't have to go there. You know what? I am going to. Do you know how much damage I've done this game? My mind is. <laughs> All right, I have gotten my screenshot as well, so now I can write this down. All right, well that was that was fun. That was a very silly game, and we did not flip a blank card. We didn't flip the blank card. <laughs> we got my God. I love this. Is a very fun combination. You're right. I didn't think of that. the best turn of this was the um, the best turn of that though was no the, fear, um, <laughs> no heal, the no fear in the turn where we were going to destroy everything. That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's all we got. Uh, that's 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 Spirit Island with teamwork, and this was a very teamwork heavy game. We were both terrible at the other thing. I couldn't move anywhere, and you couldn't do any damage, and we we counteracted that pretty well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was fun. Um, I will. Uh, we got some errands we got to run, so I got to go at this point. But um, say hi to your viewers for me. And no, you, uh, you I can need... do it yourself, actually. Oh, hello, viewers, and I need you and all of your viewers to know that I that because I am a functioning adult, my wife was bringing me snacks the entire time we were recording this. So that's what? <laughs> I don't have any snacks. I actually have a jar of peanuts. Well, you do have a jar of peanuts. That counts. That qualifies. Yeah, nothing but, like some yeah, good old yeah. salty nuts in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh, and I forget we lose points in the scoring. You lose points for the number of blight on the board. Um, I forgot about that, which is fine. I mean, it's not a big deal, but uh, that is that is where uh, stones and yielding has it has trouble. It's with the scores because there's just so much blight on the board. Right. At the end. Yeah.
But oh well, doesn't matter. We won. That's that's the important thing. Doesn't matter how well we did, which <laughs> was very fun. Uh, all right, cool. I think I am going to. Well, first, it's tradition. We have to uh, flip the table. There we go. Oh, so now thank you. appreciate <laughs> that. Course, required. Um, and uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay, why is it? Why is it? Why is it going? Why is it still going? <laughs> all right. I will see you later, my dude. This was fun. All right. See you, my homebrae. Bye. Bye-bye.